Hey guys, Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I bought myself this Hudson model 18539. This is a backpack sprayer blower mister. Uh, you'll see that terminology put on these types of machines all the time. For me, uh, you know, the reason I picked this sucker up is because, you know, generally in the summer I have mosquitoes and you can su certainly subscribe to mosquito spraying services, but I got tired of doing that and I thought, man, why don't I just spray them myself? I see the guys doing it, did a little research, found out the chemicals you use, and basically you just mist all your bushes and lawn with a mister like this. Now, there are a number of uh, blower types of brands that you can buy and this one is the pretty much the the cheapest one you can possibly get brand new this thing runs about three hundred and thirty dollars depending on how much tax and shipping you're going to pay but there is uh one from steel Makita, i think and then uh the really common one is the solo brand so i just want to show this one to you because they're all relatively the same they have a big reservoir up in the top this has the gas tank there and then and then the motor right here on the bottom and this machine itself actually is just like a leaf blower um, with the reservoir sitting on the top and it just uh, gravity feeds liquid through this this tube here and this is your valve off on on just like a gas valve in your house and then it drops it into the um, the air the blowing air through a little valve right here and then shoots out this end um, and kind of spins this thing too to help kind of aerate it. So there's a little like mister on the back. It does absolutely work like a leaf blower because it is pretty much a leaf blower. Now, before I get into the details of the machine, I also want to show you, it does come with some other accessories. And this is a little canister, which is nice to be able to mix gasoline and oil because it is a two stroke motor. So you fill up your gasoline to the first line. Um, and then you fill up the remainder of the canister to this line with your two-stroke oil. That will give you, after a good shake here, the right uh, 20 or 30 to 1 ratio of uh, gasoline to two-stroke oil. And then you can unscrew this piece here and fill up your gas tank. As you can see, I've got it in there. And you can tell it's oiled up because it is not kind of that clear amber color that gasoline is. It's got to get this kind of bluish green tint to it so you do have that the other thing that I really liked about this one is that this tank up here I think is like 3.75 gallons so for a big yard a big application you want more fluid because it does go quickly especially when you're blowing and misting it all right now some assembly is required and let me say this I think the instructions that it came with and printed in the booklet are almost worthless first of all um, the instructions say you had to take off this thing and replace the plate in here because it's set up for dusting. Well, I took it apart and figured out it's actually set up for misting, and so I took it apart for no reason. So if you buy this sucker brand new from the factory, my guess is there's a good chance it's set up for misting and not dusting. So if that's what you want to do, don't take it apart because I had to re-put it back together. Um, the second thing is if you are dusting, on this side there are two controls to control this machine and this control here controls the motor itself and then this controls kind of a valve to open and close uh, on the bottom of the tank here a little trap door now it's my understanding that only is relevant for dusting so if you're gonna use dusting then you'll be using this little blue lever here if you're not misting if you're gonna miss like me then no big deal you're not gonna use that at all but you will be using the throttle here on the on the motor quite a bit now let's get back to the assembly you have to put together basically the the blower tube here you have to install kind of this rubberized um, uh, flexible pipe here they come with uh, a couple of little clamps here and then you then the the switch here uh, to open and close the flow of the liquid has to be placed underneath the second clamp and then you put in this tube you also have to install the handle here which is a horizontal handle I probably would have preferred a vertical grip but it is what it is and then lastly you have to put on this last tube now it comes with a curved tube and a straight tube like this and I did put on the curved tube but I didn't like that it's actually a little hard to get it to blow on the other side if you want to do that so I put on the straight tube and that gives me the ability to just not only um, kind of shoot out the mist 
directly in front of me but if i want to change the direction i just turn my body whereas with the uh, curve tube i had to really turn and con contort myself and then on the very end here uh, when you put on this kind of misting trumpet there is a little knob here which you can set to allow for different amounts of fluid to be dumped into the tube itself so what i kind of found is two seems to work fine i actually may throttle that back to one uh, it seems to close in the halfway position so it doesn't seem to you have to pick the full number um, but i will tell you if on full bore spray man you can go through the fluid pretty quickly so uh, you probably don't need especially if you're spraying mosquitoes a lot of uh, liquid um, and chemical coming out you just need to get everything covered so my guess is and my recommendation would be to start start small and uh, kind of work up from there now let's take a look at the 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 device itself um with the gas in there it's pretty heavy uh but when i got it in the original box it wasn't too bad and as you can see here i can pick it up with one hand it's not the easiest thing in the world but um you can certainly do it once you get this full of water you know four gallons of water is going to be oh 25 to 30 pounds depending on how full you have it so you're going to probably want to put this thing up on a table as you're filling it up uh, before you try to strap it on. It has kind of a, um, uh, like an injection molded plastic backing here with uh, kind of a little bit of foam padding. You know, nothing super, um, super comfortable, but it does work fine. A couple of padded back, pack straps here. They come pretty tight. Uh, you might want to loosen them up just a little bit. I didn't find uh, comfort was a problem with it. The other tip I might recommend is that as you're putting it on, you may want to pull this tube up because if, uh, uh, and put it somewhere where you can grab it because what it did uh, is it fell straight to the ground and then you're kind of swinging your hand trying to grab it and it's a little hard to do when this kind of when this pivots and is pointing straight on the ground. All right, now all the hardware to get the motor running was already installed. So it did come with an extra spark plug and a couple of other little nuts and bolts, which was cool. Um, so I thought that was actually nice. The spark plug's up here. It's got a little protective rubber boot on it. Now let's get on to using this thing. Uh, the top here of the reservoir unscrews, kind of a personal pizza sized cap here. It's everything here, uh, including this hose um, and the screen is all tethered. Uh, because of this, this hose in there. So you would put in your chemical or whatever you're using, your insecticide, and then you would fill up the remaining, the rest of the reservoir with water. Now, I'm just using regular water here for demo purposes, but uh, obviously if you were using some sort of chemical, you would want to be completely masked up or gloved up or whatever, whatever you need. So I'm just going to throw in a little water here. That'll probably do it for demo purposes and then you screw this back down and now you're gonna start this sucker up now a couple of things that I have learned or was told by the instructions is one you're gonna want to take this starter knob or the uh, throttle here and this is the off position and you're gonna want to turn it to the on position um, for me I've always put it on the top position I don't know if that's what you want to do because the instructions like I said are kind of worthless but they are what they are and then on the back here so what I understand is this is the gas on and off switch and I believe you turn it vertical for on and horizontal for off and then this is your choke and now what I understood from the directions is if you push it all the way down it's fully open you want to put it kind of halfway when you're starting it up and let's see if we can actually get it running and then you're gonna pull on this now I saw on the solo brands you actually pull this the uh, the, the rip cord here um, pretty slowly but what I found is that you actually have to give this one a little bit of a jerk so let's go ahead and try to fire it up and see how it goes a couple of pulls I put my foot here to brace it kind of hear it kind of come into life um, but then what it says to do is to move the choke to half position and then once it fires up you're actually supposed to move the choke back to full position so um, I've got the choke in half position here and let's we'll So, hey, um, you know, I edited out a bunch of the issues of starting this thing. Obviously, I showed you when it fired up, but my experience with this thing, having only had it for about a day, is that it sucks. 
um, for about $333. Uh, you know, it's about half the price of some of the bigger brands, and I would suggest just splurging and getting one of the bigger brands. I'm going to be in the process of replacing this with something that's a little more hmm, professional grade because. Uh, unless you have half an hour at a time to try to tinker with the startup procedure to get it running, uh, it's just not worth it. So I would lo much rather have something that fires up on uh, the first pull and get something of a higher quality. So um, there will be a solo branded um, Mr. Duster blower uh, coming my way pretty soon. Um, just uh, went ahead and ordered that and had to spring for a few extra bucks. Not sure what I'll do with this one yet, but uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm just gonna give it a thumbs down it does work and like I said if you're really on a budget and just looking to uh, spray something at your own convenience probably good enough but if you want to do it regularly and not to be hassled every time get something else Peter Von Panda with my Hudson mr. blower out Start up.